don't think anyone predicted that we would be here today, other than maybe my mama, who knew right away that you were smitten with me. They say you should marry your best friend, and you are, but you're so much more than that. Like you said, you're my co-pilot, my co-fur parent, my confidant, my greatest challenge, and my absolute rock. Why are we here again? Oh, right, getting married, right. Uh, 12 years later, and you're still here. I'm equally surprised. I think back to when we began dating at 19 and how young, baby-faced, and immature we were. Well, mostly me, anyway. In our time together, you've helped me grow as a person and as a partner. You've shown me the joys of traveling and all-inclusive tropical vacations. And also how to communicate clearly and effectively, although I'm still working on that one. so proud of the man you've become. One of your most attractive qualities is just how brilliant you are. You make me better, and life is better with you. In this moment, as we stand before our friends and family, I'm thinking one thing as I look into your eyes. I'm thinking how lucky I am to be up here with this beautiful, strong person who I get to laugh with every day. Love is a journey, and if you fall in love with the journey, you'll be in love forever. I pray that your journey is long and beautiful and filled with so much laughter and joy. I promise not to buy another car without at least asking you first. I promise not to complain about your shopping habits, but seriously, how many Amazon packages are arriving this week? I promise to laugh with you, to cry with you, and grow with you. I will love you when we are together and when we are apart. I promise to support your dreams, to respect our differences, and to love you and be by your side every day. Instead of vows today, I decided I wanted to tell you all about our marriage privileges, the stuff that I get to do with you. I get to cry with you, hand in hand, when times are hard, and I get to laugh at your bad jokes. I get to care for you and stay up way too late ordering takeout with you in sickness and in health. I get to go off-roading with you and travel the world with you and build a beautiful life with you. And I get to have you as the person I get to spend the rest of my life with. You are the love of my life and you are my happily ever after. And I love you biggest much in the whole wide world. At the end of the day, it's not about the rings, or the marriage certificate, or the party, but that's a pretty nice perk too. It's about you and me, and choosing that one person who you get to spend the rest of your life with. And I choose you. I choose you to wake up with every day, I choose you for the mundane, everyday errands, for the late night runs to Grand Forks, and for cabin weekends at the cabin. Alexandra, you are my babe, my partner, my co fur parent, and co-pilot on this crazy journey together. Therefore, by the authority given to me, by the province of Manitoba, and in the name of God who gives us love, cruising into marriage, I pronounce you partners in life. <laughs> On this Jeep journey of love, you'll need to remember a few characteristics unique to your ride and your marriage journey. Your Jeep can light the way and help you see where you're going. Look to each other when you need help seeing a path forward. Finally, on your Jeep journey of love, it is essential that you make a playlist for the trip. That music can make you feel free, like you can drive forever. Let each other be your anthem. Feel the freedom in each other, knowing together that you can conquer the world. Now,